What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video and today we're going to be talking about the Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset for the Nintendo Switch by Hori. Alright, so a lot of you guys probably have seen a few pictures of this thing or heard some stuff about it circulating throughout the internet over the last month or so. This is the Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset for Nintendo Switch. It's Hori's solution to the current issues with the Nintendo Switch online chat system. So what does it do and how does it work and what makes this thing so special? Well, it does two things. Things. First, it makes you look like an inkling while you play Splatoon 2, which is actually pretty awesome because I gotta say, these things do look pretty sweet. Second, it's supposed to allow you to chat with your friends online while listening to the game audio directly from your headphones, but that's thanks to the infamous chat mixer that's included with the headset. You guys remember this little infographic, right? Well, turns out, it was actually box art! Okay, so now that we're done oogling over the gorgeous box art, which actually really is beautiful, let's crack this guy open. Hori made sure to include some pretty cool and useful little add-ons inside of the box along with the chat headset. And one little bonus that I really do like about these headphones is that they come with an extra pair of interchangeable ear tags, which I gotta say, I actually prefer the alternate color red over the default green. So if you're into those little customizable details like that, well then you're definitely gonna appreciate that tiny little addition. The microphone part to the headset itself is detachable, so when you first get it, you're gonna have to snap it on when you're ready to chat. I like that they did make it detachable because that means that if you really did want to, you could technically just get away with wearing these out in public without looking to jet grind radio. I also really like that Hori included an 8.2 foot long extension cable for people who prefer to play on the TV. It's just one of those little quality of life details that you really miss when they're not there. So I'm glad to see that they didn't forget about the many TV mode players out there as well. But the main reason most of us are here, and the biggest mystery with this whole package, is of course, the chat mixer. I mean look at this thing guys, it's a squid. Which is actually pretty fitting because all of the cables you're going to have dangling from it make it look like it has tentacles. And that's ridiculous because look how far we've come. I mean, it's been 15 years since we've had voice chat on a console and, and this is what we have. Why is this a problem all of a sudden? Why does this exist? Okay, but before we start jumping to conclusions, let's break this thing down, go over build quality, and see how it all works when you put it together. Let's start with the actual headphones themselves. First off, they look awesome. Really awesome. The detail here is pretty profound, and it looks like they just literally fell right out of the game and into the real world. You can swap between the green and red earphone tags pretty easily on the fly, which is a really nice touch, but it sort of makes me kind of sad at the same time because I'm pretty sure that we're probably not going to see any more color options coming for these guys anytime soon. So don't expect to expand your collection further than the stock red and green tags that actually come with the headset. The buttons on the top of each earphone are also just for show, which sort of sucks because it forces you to use the chat mixer if you want to have manual volume control, but we'll get into why that's an issue later. As far as comfortability is concerned, I would say that they're okay. They're definitely not the most comfortable pair of headphones in the world, but I didn't seem to have any issues wearing them for extended periods of time either. They're not nearly as heavy as they look, so you're not going to be any more weighed down than you would be with most other over-ear headphones. But it's still totally going to feel like you have a gigantic pair of headphones on your head. I mean, don't get me wrong, these things are pretty big. However, if you plan on cosplaying as an inkling anytime soon, then you're definitely going to want to get these headphones because if I was judging them just by aesthetics alone, then I would say that Hori definitely nailed it. But we're looking just a little bit deeper than that here because ultimately the reason you're buying these is for what they can do and not just how they look. Sound quality wise, I would say that they're probably just about as good as any other $25 pair of headphones that you could buy. They're decent, but honestly, the earbuds that come with your smartphone probably sound a little bit better than these. They're not terrible, not by a long shot, but I would never use them for anything other than game chat. All right, so now that we know how the headset works, let's find out what that little chat mixer dongle thing is all about. Right off the bat, just taking a look at the mixer, you can see that it has a bunch of little switches and knobs on it that all control different volume and chat settings. There's a dial on the top left side of the mixer that controls the VGM volume, and then there's another dial on the bottom left side of the mixer that controls the chat volume, and then finally, right on the front, there's a mute switch. So some of you out there might be thinking, hey, wait a minute, now that sounds kind of like one of those fancy mix amp things that those streamers and YouTubers use when they talk through their headsets. Well, you're totally right. It's exactly like that. Or at least that's kind of what it's trying to be. The first thing you're going to notice when you pick up this mixer is just how cheap it feels. I get that Hori needed to cut costs and make some things more on the affordable side, but it feels like they went a little too thrifty with this one. And not to mention when you do finally have it all hooked up, 
for some reason it makes your game chat and your game volume substantially lower. Which threw me off completely at first. I mean I thought something might have been wrong with mine or maybe I had set it up wrong. But for some reason the volume just seems to cut nearly in half when I have the mixer plugged in. So I guess that Hori might not actually have the solution that they claim to have when it comes to Nintendo Switch online voice chat. Which is a little disappointing because I feel like a lot of us were kind of hoping that they would actually be pretty good and maybe that it would be the beginning of a fix for the current chat issues with the Switch. In my opinion, just using your own pair of earbuds that came with your smartphone and then a pair of headphones for your Switch over those works just as good if not better. Mostly because you won't have to deal with any volume issues and chances are you probably already have most of that stuff just lying around your house anyway. As a pair of headphones on their own however, I think they're actually pretty cool, especially because the whole thing is only $25 and they work pretty well when you're not using the chat mixer. And if you'd like to try them out for yourself for free, well I'm going to be giving my pair away, so make sure you check out the giveaway in the video description down below. I know I've been doing a lot of giveaways lately, but I've been getting my hands on a lot of stuff so I'm just trying to share as much of it as I can with you guys just to kind of show my appreciation and thanks because we are like right around the corner from 50k. I seriously cannot believe how close we are to the 50k goal guys. I mean I think we're only about 8k away or so I think. So definitely make sure you're entered into that giveaway if you haven't already. I got another link for you down below as well. So if you enjoyed the video please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.